Hello everybody, it is Zakia and we are making a big batch of our green apple soap and sometimes you have to make a bigger batch and when I say a bigger batch, I mean 30 pounds and so we'll be filling this wooden slab mold with 30 pounds of soap but I don't have a container that is large enough to hold 30 pounds of soap so make sure that you like the video you subscribe to the video give a thumbs up all that other stuff but you're going to see how i go about making 30 pounds by just dividing it into two smaller containers well small depends on how you look at it but 15 pounds and 15 pounds is how we're going to get our 30 pounds be sure to stick around and let me know in the comments what is the biggest batch that you have ever made and um, what are you looking forward to for your next batch? Okay, so um, for some of you that are brand spanking new to my channel, my name is Zakia Ringgold and um, it's time for me to get my new batches of soap out and kicking. So this video is going to be a demonstration of how I go about making large batches. Um, when I first got started, I would make five pound batches and that helped. However, the problem arose when I started getting more orders and I learned really quick, really quickly that you can get just as much soap made, but bigger if you just measure out more ingredients. And so what we're going to do is try and bring this to a really light trace so that I have time to work with it because I have to mix both of these pots all at one time. So we're gonna do that. I'll probably fast forward on the video for this. But what we're making is a green apple, which I'm very much looking forward to. And I'll fast forward here. Now for the color part. Okay, so for our base, we want to use quite a bit, primarily green. So we're going to add our green in here. a bigger bowl
got that batch done. If you saw, we had a little bit of trouble with that one. I think I was a little ambitious with these really large containers. I probably could have went down to half the size. Normally I pour them straight out of the pots, but I wanted to add two additional colors to it so I wasn't able to do that. However, you have to remember that you are the soap maker and the soap will do and it shall bend to your will. So just keep your stick blender handy, keep your spatulas handy and stir, stir, stir and just start moving a little bit faster if the soap thinks that it's going to take over. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.